excitement is going to be terrific. You know, they're going to yell and scream and they're going to be excited about to have something their own. My name is Maria Castellanos. This is called Lennox. It's unincorporated um, Los Angeles County. Um, we're on the flight path to the LAX airport. We are in a low-income community and uh, hard-working, caring parents who only want the best for their kids. But unfortunately, um, you know, funds are limited. When somebody calls you and says, I'm going to bring 600 backpacks to your school, I don't you know, tend to believe that kind of <laughs> good news. A Kids in Need Foundation is a national organization and our mission is to see that every child is prepared to learn and succeed in the classroom. And we do that by providing free school supplies to students across the country. Post-it notepads, package of colored pencils. School supplies are so important. There's so many kids today that go to school without the basic tools and it's almost impossible to learn and succeed. The best part of my job is actually handing the backpack to the kid. The excitement about it, that they're going to get something. Sometimes they want to hold back and don't realize it's actually for them. We got new backpacks! It almost brought tears to my eyes to see how excited these kids were. I've been teaching for 16 years, and the last time they got something free like this, I can't say when, it, when that was. It's, it's been a while. Gave us a new backpack. Tell me what you were thinking when you were opening that zipper. I was thinking it was going to be a super happy present. <laughs> and is it? Yes. Well, you generally take them out one at a time, and they generally have their favorite item in there. I felt happy because I didn't have all these stuff. So what was the thing that you needed the most? Pencils. Because I don't have enough pencils at home. It's not because the parents don't care, it's just that they don't have the means to do so, to take them every fall to go pick out school supplies. When I was going to third grade, I saw a backpack like this, but, it's, but it costed me a lot, and my mom didn't, couldn't buy it for me, and finally I have it. When we first started doing that, I was very surprised that the kids would be excited about that. My kids, I always to say, weren't so excited about that. But these are kids who don't have a lot of things of their own. Describe to me what it feels like inside your chest to finally get all this stuff. A cabin. Like heaven. I think this is wonderful that every single kid at my school today will have a brand new backpack. I grew up a few blocks down this way. Um, I was a Lennox student um, many years ago, and so I was um, one of these students myself. Scissors, glue, erasers, pens, and um, a sharpener. There are 16 million kids in the United States that live in poverty. We know that most of those kids don't have all the necessary supplies. When they have those supplies, they're able to perform in the classroom and learn. Teachers are very grateful too. Most of the time we have to give them a pencil or colors. They don't have, they don't have paper, so we mostly give them all their supplies. But this is nice now that they have their own supplies. Uh, I got the color I wanted, red. I'm going to wear it every day for being a good student. I was like super excited. And like, I was super happy. School supplies come, a lot of them are donated from supporters of ours across the country. You know, we're making an investment in our future. Our kids are the biggest asset we have in our country. People really understand that. Show me your backpack face again. <laughs> <laughs> the smiles you saw today were completely genuine. There's just all this negativity. It's nice to see that there is a lot of good still being done, and it brings everyone here hope.